Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Another day is dawning in Mordheim, City of the Damned, and let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. And, of course, not the least, follow my personal progress as the Warlock Ranger Mage Master. And our love struck first front liner Howard Howler here. He got two XP for enemies put out of action and an advancement point in Marshall. Nice. And Dodgy Dan, you did a good job of protecting our second captain and boxing him in on the stairs. You just got two XP points. That doesn't really reflect your good work out there. Nice. And Baldy Bowman, you did some good shooting out there and you were honored most valuable warrior and you were so close to ranking up. This is awesome. Well done, Baldy. Well done. And Sheldon Shieldwise, aka the White Knight, aka the Surgeon, you got just 2 XP. That doesn't reflect your good work out there. And a martial advancement point as well. You did some good guarding there on the stairs. Once again, made us all feel secure. Nice. And here I am, Mage Master, and look at this, 3 XP points, that's not much, but one of them is for an enemy put out of action, my enemy number 7, this is awesome. And a physical advancement point for me, I'm happy. Nice progress. And Pierre Paré, you ranked up to level 1, you're on your way, nice, you got 3 XP points. And one of them is for another enemy put out of action. That's the second. You're well on your way to your standard contract. And you also got two mental advancement points. That's nice. Well done, Pierre. Well done. And Mark Muckshot, our newest second captain. What a first mission you had, huh? That wasn't a walk in the park. You only got two XP points. That doesn't really reflect it. You did good shooting out there and you did well in just standing on the stairs and letting us take over. Your strategy wasn't the best, if you ask me. You learn, I'm sure. And as a warband, we got two XP points. And while the captain distributes the spoils of war and the advancements of skills, you can enjoy Mage Master's very own first-hand experienced war tale of yesterday's venture into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. And our captain has found us a normal level mission today to make it easy on our new reserve captain. A walk in the park. <laughs> Someone's marked for death, the wordstone gathering could be very poor and the scavenging average. Each warband spread out by their wagons far from each other. Now let's go for a picnic, shall we? Let's see, the Congregation of Blood, they are from the Cult of the Possessed. So the captain says we're all just gonna run up the street and pick up all of this wordstone and then we're gonna continue to the wagon and we're gonna hack and slash anyone we see along the way. Um, that's not gonna happen, Captain. That's kind of not the firing squad way. So, uh, Sheldon Shearwise and I, we just persuaded the Captain that we're gonna take over and he's just gonna tack along today. So, uh, Sheldon is gonna take care of the frontliners' command and I will be commanding the backliners. And our plan is to go into this house right here and gather up and see if we can spot any of them along the way. So uh, that's the first plan. And it was a perfect day for a walk in the park and I started by finding all we needed to pay for the mission. 62 go crowns. Nice. And I could place myself on the middle of the street with a good overview. That's when the first disaster of the day struck. Perry Perry had secretly sneaked his way into the wagon and was joining us in Mordheim. He was at the far eastern end of the merchant quarters, only armed with a kitchen knife and going scavenging while he was whistling as if he was on a walk in the park. He was setting up ambushes and looking for treasures all on his own. Far away from the rest of us. 
This was bad and threw us all off a little bit, but we needed to stick to the plan. The captain was in total confusion. He didn't know what to do. He ran back and forth and ran in circles until Dodgy Dan and Sheldon Shieldwise told him to set up the safe house and find a good spot where he could watch overhead, over the street, with an overwatch stance. So he did. He found a good position and stood there for the rest of the mission. Baldy Bowman, who always finds the good spots, also find a nice spot with a good overview of the street and good overwatch stances. We were setting up the safe house nicely and there were no enemies in sight. And Perry Perry was at the far eastern end of the merchant quarters. Howard Howler was mumbling something about Gisela, but set up a nice defense by the front a door. A new round has started. I was still on my way, and there were still no enemies in sight, and Perry Perry didn't seem to come our way. So I found a nice position behind the captain to box him in and make sure he stays put. Perry Perry, on the other hand, was taking it easy, going for scavenging and whistling small songs while he was going back and forth to the chest and the treasures, walking the dark streets of wartime, only armed with a kitchen knife. Now the enemy started popping up, a hero and a leader. He was down by the Wordstone field and he was the marked one. The captain was trembling. He'd never met anyone from the cult of the possessed, but we told him to stay put with overwatch stances. Baldy Bowman, who had the longest range, also got ready to take in his steps. Dodgy Dan boxed the captain in from the lower side of the stairway and got ready with an overwatch stance as well. And Pierre Paré could step outside on the stairs as well, ready. We now had a perfect firing line. Howard Howler, still mumbling Gisela this and Gisela that, found a nice left flank on the street. And that way, Sheldon Shieldwise could once again place himself safe and securely in front of the stairs and the front door, guarding us A all. new round has started. That's when their hero stepped in. He was going for Perry Perry. And he was big. So it was their leader's turn. First he decided to gather some wordstone for us. And then he stepped right into Baldy Bowman's first shot. He was standing there looking at us all. And we were getting ready. I needed to find a higher ground and I found a perfect place on a balcony high above. We were now ready. And Perry Perry was whistling a cute little song in the eastern end of the merchant quarters, placing his scavenged goodies in our chest and then he discovered the big hero. Instead of coming to us, he set up an ambush with his kitchen knife, ready to take on a hero of horror. We had no chance of coming to his aid at this moment. We were all waiting in suspense, and that's when the second disaster of the day struck. A Mordheim blackout. Sorry guys, I experienced a Mordheim blackout for two critical minutes. It was a new round. Their leader approached our corner house and took some heavy damage on the way in. He cast some blood curse on our captain and lined up right in front of Sheldon Shieldwise and the firing squad with only 13 wounds to his life. Then their hero went for Perry Perry. He stepped right into his ambush and Perry attacked but missed. The hero attacked three times and the first attack was dodged and countered with a good hit by by Perry, but the two next attacks severely damaged Perry Perry. And then it was my turn and I couldn't get a beat on their leader from the balcony, so I went one floor down and stood beside Baldy Bowman for a better aim. And my aiming is good, but there was a, a meteor stone or something that hit my arrow. I mean, it just, you didn't see, oh, you didn't see, you didn't see that? I, I, it was, okay. Anyway, my aiming is good, and I'm gonna put my seventh enemy out of action here, okay? Yeah. 
Anyway, Perry Perry wasn't even close to putting anyone out of action. <laughs> he was fighting, he was literally staring his fears straight in the eye. But not getting anywhere with that glance. We were all getting ready to set up everything once again, exactly like the firing squad strategy proclaims we should do. We were doing all the right things, and yet Perry Perry was all alone out there. We needed to loot, set up a good front line once more, and hope that Perry Perry would come back to us. Sheldon Shieldwise could take their leader's dog tag, the first part of the optional objective. And a good staff for me. Howard Howler was asked by Sheldon Shieldwise to stop mumbling about Gisela and stop writing on the walls and start doing something at about Perry Perry. So he decided to go charge in on the hero. He damaged him severely on his first attack. And severely on his second. Their hero was puzzled, surprised, a new round and has overwhelmed, been. but attacked Perry Perry. He dodged <laughs> and countered just as well. So their hero turned <laughs> on Howard Howler and gave him a lot of damage before taking a defensive dodge stance. We had now spotted a new enemy at the Wordstone Field, and the hero attacking Perry Perry and Howard Howler only had five wounds to his health. So Perry Perry could put him out, but Perry Perry disengaged and went for some treasures instead. As if it was a treasure hunt or a walk in the park and then decided to engage again, but unfocusedly. <laughs> Missed. The enemies were still hidden for us, but we were lining up and all getting ready with Overwatch stances in our firing lines. The captain was still cursed with that blood curse from their leader, which increased the cost of his Overwatch shots. But he was hanging in there well. We all took Overwatch stances preparing for the next incoming enemy. Sheldon Shieldwise stood in the doorway and guarding the stairs in front of us. Odie Bowman was ready with his long-ranged crossbow to give him damage when the first step was taken. And Dodgy Dan as well, anticipating his approach. And we were all ready. That's when he decided he gathered some wordstone for himself, and then he gathered a little more wordstone for himself, and then he gathered a little more wordstone for himself, and didn't show up. Howard Howler, on the other hand, was engaged with the hero. He wanted him down real bad. And then he came right back to us, stood in the middle of the street, ready to assist us on the incoming. A new round has started. When the new round started, Perry Perry could whistle his little song again and fill up the chest once more with what he had looted. And, instead of coming straight down to us, he went even further east in the merchant quarters, setting up ambushes and whistling a small tune making it all a walk in the park for him. And we had no chance of coming. At this moment, everything seemed that we would have a new incoming. We were all getting ready, waiting in anticipation. And Howard Howler could set himself up with a good parry stance in front of what he thought was two traps. Perry Perry, on the other hand, could go scavenge some more treasures, a little left over from his first scavenging, and enjoying the sunny day and whistling a little bit to himself while he's going even further east away from the safe house. Probably, I guess, blinded by treasure, not knowing that he was stepping right into a corner. He had cornered himself. A hero was lying in wait for him to go for that treasure. And charged in. Perry Perry ambushed him, but missed. 
and was punished for it. He countered, but missed, and was brutally punished for it, before he remembered to dodge. This was their second hero, and Perry Perry was down to 73 wounds to his health, while their hero had considerably more than twice that amount. It was looking bad, and he had no way out. We were anticipating the incoming, and Baldy Bowman with his long-range crossbow was the first to welcome him. It stopped his approach. Perry Perry, on the other hand, had only one approach, to attack. He was doing well with his dull kitchen knife. Again and again damaging, but only in small amounts. He needed to fight this out, there was no other way. Body Bowman, who has two shots for each round, he could once again lay an arrow right at its target. And he could once again go into an overwatch stance, awaiting his next step. The same could I do, and I have three shots, I don't know if I've told you that. Sheldon took a parry, waited patiently, and parry, parry, was taunted, and attacked, and damaged, and damaged even more, brutally, severely. Things were looking bad for Perry Perry. He was down to 14 wounds to his life. We had no chance of coming to his aid, and their warrior approached fast. Baldy Bowman could send him a hello. I could send him another hello. Dodgy Dan could send him a warning shot, I guess. But Pierre Paré could give him some damage. And finally, our captain could use his guns. He did well, dealt some damage before their warrior could charge straight over the board. We thought was a trap and attack Howard Howler. He didn't like that, believe me. Howard Howler could then mumble a bit about Gisela and do some scavenging and start running back for the wagon. He seemed as if it was in his own world, but he was still doing good. Set up an ambush to take care of himself. By a war. A new round has started. By the new round, two new enemies had shown up at the end of the street, and none of them were the marked ones yet. Perry Perry was going low on life, but he was fighting well, <laughs> doing good damage with the dull kitchen knife. <laughs> Once and again, he hit his target. But things were looking grim. It wasn't much damage in that blade. The captain seemed to lighten up after he had his shot. So he knew what to do. Reload and wait for the next. And that goes for all of us. We were getting ready for the next incoming. A one-armed warrior who lined up right in front of the firing squad. Do they never learn? Pierre Paré, he could load his guns once more, step inside the house to make way for Dodgy Dan to participate as a first frontliner, if needed. I had a good position beside Baldy Bowman and could as well give him some damage and an overwatch stance waiting for his next step. Sheldon Shearwise, who was so cool that he decided to just check out if he had some room in his inventory to go and scavenge a bit of the wordstone. And take a nice buff. A buff of three meters movement range. He could now ambush far, but still he went right back and stood strong in the doorway in front of the stairs, protecting us all. He was within Baldy Bowman's range, who could once again lay an arrow on his crossbow and let it fly away in damaging pain. And once again lay another arrow on his crossbow and take an over.
Overwatch stands awaiting his next step. Dodgy Dan could reload his guns and once more wait for a new try. Would he make a warning shot this time? Perry Perry was dodging well, but not well enough. And that was the third disaster that day. Howard Howler heard his dying cry and the fall of his corpse. And he heard the approaching hero who was now right behind the wall at which he was writing hearts on the wall. Anyway, Howard Howler could empty his inventory and set up a nice ambush by the house while mumbling something with Giesler, I guess. Yeah, well. A new round has started. I don't know if I've told you this, but I have three shots. This was just one of the shots. I could reload and give him just another shot. And I could reload and I could go into an overwatch stance. See? And the captain was both trembling of excitement and suspense, but he knew what to do. Getting ready to shoot. That's when he stepped in. Baldy Bowman punished him for that step. He took another step. And with my third arrow this round, I could punish him for that step. He took a few more steps. And Dodgy Dan decided to put him to his knees with a good critical shot. Pierre Paré could now step right out the door and take a good aim at him and put him to the ground. That was his second enemy put out of action in just two missions. And now Dodgy Dan was the cool one. He could step out right out on the middle of the street and scavenge the few things he had. Not much and unfortunately couldn't get all the way back to his position. So Sheldon Shieldwise with his long movement range buff could stand in front of him ready to take on the incoming foe. And that broke their morale. It was a battleground victory. We did some good looting off their corpses out there and some good scavenging as well. We put four out of action and we actually lost one today. One that we didn't even bring. Anyway, Baldy Bowman was honored most valuable warrior with his fierce crossbow. Actually, it should have been me, right? I mean, I was the one commanding Baldy Bowman, and if, if it wasn't for that meteor that just struck my arrows, I am. Uh, by the way, I shoot three times, right? So it should have been me, if you ask me, right? Right? And the whole mission just costed 40 gold crowns. I mean, I found 62 gold crowns, so I pretty much paid for this mission, right? Another reason why I should have been honored most valuable warrior, if you ask me. Anyway, it wasn't exactly a walk in the park or a picnic, but overall, a pretty good mission. Nice. Now, let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And our new reserve captain. Well done. You got your first mission over, and you got two experience points, and nothing else. No advancement point, no looting, no anything. But you got those two experience points. One for each bullet you fired, right? <laughs> but you do have a 100% accuracy rate on that one shot. Anyway, you did a good job of staying put and guarding. Nice. Well done, and welcome. And our big brute love struck Basher Howard. Howler, hey, ah, oh, come on. Anyway, let me just say real quick that we told the captain about how he's going distant and drawing these graffiti hearts on the walls out there on the missions. And anyway, that captain is gonna try and see if he can create a little more focus in Howard Howler. Now he's close to ranking up, so he's probably gonna be asked to do some training to focus a bit more. And he got a martial advancement point. He's using that for weapons. Nice. And the captain is already going to try and start making him focus on something else than Gisela this and Gisela that. He's gonna ask him to learn the spell Snow King's Decree and he's made sure that we have exactly enough money to pay for the spell. Ah, oh, nice. And we got a good pile of wordstone weight right here. Nice. Anyway, he's gonna start training this spell 
overnight. Awesome. And Sheldon Shieldwise, a.k.a. our White Knight, a.k.a. the Surgeon, you did a good job of guarding that doorway and the stairs out there, making us all feel safe and secure. And you commanded the first frontliners nicely. You got an advancement point and nothing else, no looting, no anything. You're gonna be spending that on weapon skill? You are a warrior. Perfect. And there I am, Mage Master. We found a staff out there, Staff of Fury. It lowers the curse chance when you're casting spells with 9%. This is a good thing, and this one is for me. But I'm not casting spells for the moment, so I'm gonna wait with uh, equipping that just now. But I was given an advancement point, and I'm gonna be spending that for toughness. According to my master plan from the captain, maximum is four in toughness for me. So the rest of my advancement points in physical are gonna go for strength and agility. Nice. But the captain also had a present for me because we found a master quality pendant out there and he wants to give it to me. That is his way of showing his appreciation and his gratitude for me, trying to help him get this warband up to the rank of a legendary warband. Look at this, chance to pass all the Lomphian terror test by 15%. Look at these numbers down here, nice. I'm now the first and only wearing a master quality equipment. Thanks, Captain. This is awesome. And Pierre Paré, you ranked up to level one. Nice, and you were given two advancement points. Now, one of them is going for leadership to boost the morale and some of these resistances down here. And the other one is going for strength. Right here, you see, every time there is three points, it increases the carrying capacity by one. That means that this one would be accessed now. Let's just see that. Yeah, now it's open. You have a carrying capacity of four. Nice, Pierre Barre. Yeah, as you may have noticed, Perry Perry, he wasn't among us sharing this loot here today. We always bring our slain allies back from the missions, lying on our wagon. But when we went to the doorway where Perry Perry was so viciously cut down, he was gone, vanished, disappeared. We don't know what happened there. That seems like a pretty tragic end to the story of Perry Perry, huh? Anyway, a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim, and it's time to look at the daily report. Market stock has been replenished. Oh, the market stocks has been replenished. Nice. That's the stores, new stuff in the stores. Too bad we don't have any mo- What? Oh, oh look at this. We had more than 300 wordstone weight yesterday. And today we only have 25. It seems the captain has been dealing on the black market. With the Brigginsburg, I see. That's not the Baron. Let's just hope the Baron doesn't find out. He's gonna get furious. Hmm. Anyway, Teddy Toothpick, he's learned the skill Quick Reload, so he can now also use the crossbow. Oh, that's good. And Howard Howler, our love-struck big brute basher, he's been focusing on something else than Gisela. A spell called Snow King's Decree he learned overnight. Nice! And the Captain Mason Mugshot, he's learned the skill Hold Ground. That's a real captain skill. This is good stuff. Nice. And while our captain, he goes on a shopping spree to check out the new market replenish, I can tell you real quick that our big brute love-struck basher Howard Howler, he's getting more and more love-cursed and distant every day. Just walking around mumbling Gisela, 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 not even eating or drinking anymore. Well, not drinking is actually a problem for all of us, because we have no water left in our war camp. Well, that was used by Perry Perry and Mark Muckshot when they put out our burning kitchen, right? Oh, speaking of the reserve captain, I overheard a quite heated discussion between the two captains last night. It seems that our new reserve captain, he got pretty offended that Sheldon Shieldwise and I took over command on his first mission. But our first captain, he had our backs, saying that we did the right thing. But he demanded respect, so the captain showed him some respect by sharing his master plan for him. Even sharing his own master plan for him. 
Something only true members of the firing squad get to see. That kind of calmed him down, and I was secretly listening, and I heard the whole plan, both of them, right there and then. And of course, I'll share it with you, you know that, but hey, hey, you know that these things, they are like top secret, right? So don't tell the captain I've showed it to you. I'll be keeping them in my personal warband chest. I believe you guys call it a playlist. I've marked it master plans. You'll find them all there. Now let's take a look at the captain's master plan for... Our captain's own twin brother Mark Muckshot, assistant leader, second captain, and a second frontliner. Every warband member of the firing squad has four personal objectives, counting the first objective as the standard contract. To become a true member, everyone has to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action. Once that is accomplished, they can progress in the star ranking system as a trooper. And he can gain a star by putting another 15 enemies out of action, making it a total of 20 enemies put out of action. If he does that, he gains a star and the rank of a true trooper. He can also achieve a second star by performing a counter-attack that costs no offense points. If he does that, well then his skills most certainly work for him, but he can also gain a second star and become a star trooper. And he can achieve a third star and the highest rank of a tri-trooper by mastering six skills and reach rank 10. Now let's take a look at the specific stats and skills specified by the captain. There are two active skills and four passive skills in all, and he will master them all, starting with the active skills. The hold ground skill, it targets allies within a 5 meter radius and with a range of up to 20 meters away. It increases the dodge and parry chance by 10% for one turn, but can only be used while not engaged. And his second active skill is Web of Steel, a defensive stance that ends the current turn. The stance allows three attempts to parry incoming melee attacks, and a successful parry attempt will reduce the cost of a counterattack by one offense point. And now for the passive skills. The pre-made skill that a captain has is called Swift Reaction. It increases the parry chance by 10%, and after a successful parry attempt, it reduces the cost of a counterattack performed in response by one offense point. And his second passive skill is Shield Specialist. It increases the melee resistance and parry chance by 10% when equipped with a shield. And the third passive skill is Flash Parry. He will master this skill, so it will give him a parry chance increase of 20%. And his fourth and final passive skill is Swift Counter. After performing a counter-attack, he receives an 80% chance to recover one offense point. And this is his personal Warband member master plan sheet, planned out and masterminded by the captain himself. And you can find this sheet and many more in the Captain's Book of Master Plans. It provides a good understanding and a deep insight into Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. That looks like a nice master plan, right? But it takes a while to get him there. So for now, the situation is this. We have a reserve captain who has absolutely no experience in Mordheim missions. We have a warrior that's disappeared in Mordheim. We have a burnt down kitchen, a dried out war camp well, a way too small toilet bucket for the lot of us, and a lovesick Howard Howler walking around mumbling Gisela this and Gisela that. Oh man, we are struggling with more than just missions here, huh? Speaking of uh, missions... Here is the team we are sending into Mordheim City of the Damned today. And we're a party of just seven today, the same seven that went on a mission yesterday, only this time not with Perry Perry, right? That's a tragic story right there. Anyway, starting from the left, back, me, Mage Master, 
Of course I'm joining the mission today. It is my 10th mission in all. What an anniversary, right? And our big brute love struck basher Howard Howler is joining us today. Let's hope he can focus on something else than Gisela this and Gisela that. And our new reserve captain going on his second mission in all. Let's hope he has a better battle plan approach than he had yesterday. If not, we have the White Knight, a.k.a. the Surgeon, Sheldon Shewise, with us today. And Dodgy Dan as a second frontliner together with Pierre Paré, who is on his third mission today. And our eye in the sky together with me, with his heart-punching crossbow, is Baldy Bowman. Nice. So, let's go. And it seems that the Baron has discovered that our captain is dealing Wordstone on the black market again. He's sending us only normal missions. This one is a normal one. The Catcher, the Pillagers is a normal one. The Horrors of Mordheim is normal. And there is another normal one, also Horrors of Mordheim. This is not too good. But today it may be just fine because we are having our reserve captain on his second mission. So a normal mission would probably be a wise choice. So the captain went for the normal mission, crushed their will. The wordstone gathering would be very poor in the scavenging average. One warband deploys tightly around its wagon while the other is split into three strike teams. So let's make this one a walk in the park, shall we? Your scouts reported a secret cache of equipment in the ruins, but recovering it has become no easy task. Somehow, an enemy warband has learned of your plan. Worse, they're lying in wait and have deployed patrols to flank your warriors. And we're in. First things first. Let's just check out the map and see who we're up against. Ah, uh, we are up against the Sisters of Faith. The Sisters of Sigma. These are melee competents and experts. Oh man, there's not a lot of word stone here. Oh man, it's straight down the street here. But they are spread out in three strike teams, so they could come from three different angles. Okay, let's deploy and hear what the captain has to say today. Let's hope he has a more genius plan than yesterday. So, let's see. And I will be here. And down there by the red light. Oh man, that's their wagon. Oh man, we're close. We're really close. I'm gonna stay here. Yeah. And the captain. You're gonna be here. Pierre Pere. You're gonna be over here. Yeah. And Dodgy Dan. You could stay here. Oh, and Sheldon Shieldwise. You should be right in the middle of the street. Yeah. And Baldy Bowman. You should be over here. Okay. So, before we deploy Howard Howler, let's uh, hear the uh, hopefully genius master plan battle approach from the captain today. Let's hope it's better than yesterday. So the captain is just saying that we should just stay around uh, the wagon here, just all make a circle around it and guard our idol because they are gonna come for our banner on the wagon. Um, listen captain, that's not a good idea. There's a big house right behind us. Let's just go inside and see. <laughs> we can guard the entrance there and talk about it. All right, let's uh, deploy Howard Howler and uh, <laughs> let's go, all right? Oh, Howard Howler is looking at two pretty good clusters over there. Ah, oh, that's nice, Howard. That's real nice. Oh, man, I'm by the wall here. Let's just uh, get inside and, uh, you know, check the house. Let's just see here. Nice. Okay, I can guard the door from here and I can scavenge. Let's just see here. Oh, man, my inventory is full right there. We're just picking it all up, even though these these things we could use a helmet, maybe. So, an Overwatch stance right here is a is a good choice. All right. Oh man, the suspense, huh? The suspense. And Captain. All right, let's just go inside. 
What are you, what are you doing? Oh, man, did you just blow the horn, Captain? Ah, oh, we don't blow the horn. I know it's a Captain thing. Uh, there's some tradition in, uh, in blowing the horn. They are the only ones who can blow the horn, and every warband has a unique sound in their horn. But the captain doesn't use it for three good reasons. First of all, you're telling the enemy exactly where you are. And secondly of all, you're also telling the enemy that you're split up. If you'd be clustered together, you probably wouldn't blow the horn, right? So he's taking an overwatch stance by the door here. Wise choice. Third and last reason is our first captain, Mason Muxin. He likes sneaky attacks, stealthiness, surprise attacks. You know, and, ooh, someone came into sight. See anything moving, do you guys? Anything? And Pierre Paré. Let's just check it out here. Oh, there's someone over here, up there. Ah, this is a hero. Hmm, okay. That's Howard Howler. He was going for that cluster, maybe. Ah, well, Pierre Paré, let's set up the safe house first here. Let's see, let's get you into a corner in here somewhere like this yeah making room for the rest of them to come in nice and dodgy dan let's get you inside as well hmm we could go all the way up here nice Sheldon, and let's uh, let's stick to the plan. We are setting up this house first, and then we can find out what we're gonna do. We need to find the location of the rest of them. So, uh, an ambush. That's aggressive. And Baldy Bowman with your crossbow. Maybe you should cover Howard Howler, huh? Nah, he's gonna do fine. He's just mumbling out there. Maybe we should get you to the top of the stairs somewhere, huh? Well, you're not gonna get to the top of the stairs. So you could go here. Overwatch stance, nice one, Baldy. Now all we need is to get Howard Howler in, and the seven of us are gathered, safe and secure. That means we can move out in the formation we want. I'm gonna talk to Sheldon about that. Hmm. See? That circle right there. Oh, man. And Howard. Oh, you're looking at those nice wordstone clusters over there, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's going for it. He's going for it nice. I don't really know if he's in his own Gisela world right now, or if he actually is brave. But this is looking good. Oh, that's nice. Wordstone and debuffs and... Yeah, well, we're gonna check it. But I can tell you some other thing that Baldy told me about. The love curse on Howard Howler. Well, there are two ways to stop that luck curse. Either the victim dies or the caster dies. So we got to find out who this Gisela is. We can't do something about that. We seriously got to do something about it. Now, let's just see here. Oh, man. One OP cost to spell casting doesn't do that. Climbing, leaping doesn't do that much. Agility, strength, toughness, that's bad. And one OP cost to shoot, he can't shoot. So, I guess you survived well there. All right, so an ambush stance is a good idea, Howard. Oh man, well done. A new round has started. Okay, let's see what's going on. Look at all these stars, nice. So, I'm just gonna check out here. Everything seems cool. I think I'm gonna go and check the upstairs. See how it looks up here. There's a nice balcony right there. Huh? Yeah. Okay, but that's also a place where they could, you know, come up. So, I think I'm gonna delay this. Okay. Yeah, 
Howard Howler over here. Yeah, well, you're on your way back to the wagon. This is a delay. Let's just see if we can spot anyone else. This is a good spot. I need to tell Baldy about that. What's going on? Look at all these stars. Nice. Oh, let's see if there's anyone here. Oh, someone has popped up over here. Ah. Let's just see if I could... If I could spot him over here. Ah, there she is. All right. Nice. Okay, this is a good spot then. For an overwatch. Oh, Captain, you did good with your shooting. Maybe there is a good window for you over here. Oh, that's well done. See? Straight up. Oh, yeah. This is a good window. Nice placement there, Captain. Nice. Okay. So let's see where she is going. Huh? Do we see anything? Do we see? No. Okay. Sheldon, shoot wise. Ah. Yeah, that figures. Yeah, let's get in position here. Delay and now, Baldy, why don't you come up here? Then maybe you could get a good shot in here. Let's. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> okay. Um, Baldy. Baldy, Baldy, Baldy. Oh, that's a good window you found right there. Oh, man, that's a good spot. Yeah. Awesome. And Pierre Paré, let's get. Ah, oh, you can't pass either. <laughs> okay. Um,. Maybe you could find a good sp Ah, that's a good spot. That's a nice spot. Oh, yeah. Good one. Oh, yeah. That entrance is well covered. Oh, man. That's good. And then you could go up here. Yeah, that's a good spot right there. Nice dodgy then. Nice. Now Sheldon can take a position on the stairs, a little to the side this time, please. <laughs> With a Paris dance of 78%, nice! Oh man, this is good! Oh now what happened? Ooh, that's too bad! That was the chance of her first blood here. Ooh, uh, I got the first blood today! I drew first blood. Nice. Nice. And Howard Howler, let's just see here. We don't know where she is. She could be in these houses. Anyway, why don't you just come back, right? Oh, you come straight back. Oh, what? You're talking about a nice wall? Oh, yeah. Well, are you going to start drawing or something? At least you took an ambush stance. Oh, man. A new round has started. Someone else is out there. Ah. Uh, okay. They're ganging up on us now. All right. She's lining up nicely out there. <laughs> okay. I have uh, three shots. I don't know if I've mentioned... Okay. Anyway, let's see. A nice percentage right there. Yup. Yup. That's right, Mage Master says hi. Oh, there's another one over there. Let's just see here. Now we got one right down here. We got one over here. And we got one over here. And that's their leader. Ah, nice. Okay. We got a good defense on the stairs, and I got a good few targets down here. Oh, we should just give her a little shot more. Why not? Oh, was that a, a, a bumblebee? Did you see that? A, a bee, hey guys, did you see? Oh, you weren't here. Oh, okay. That was a big bumblebee that just got in the way of my arrows right there. I mean, I, I was, I was a 95% chance. Of course, I would have hit that. Anyway, I'm gonna get away from this. Oh, this is a nice spot. Yeah, I gotta end my turn right here. This is a nice spot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, someone 
who is popping up outside the front door. Nice. And Captain, you did a good job of, of, I mean, like pointing them out to us at least, saying that that's where they are, right? Can you get a, a new shot in somewhere? No. Okay, Captain, you better, you better come upstairs now. Let's see, up behind Sheldon, that would be a safe place. Oh yeah, let's see, up this way, and somewhere like that. This is a good spot. Ooh, there's someone looking to get hurt. Yeah, that's good, Captain. Overwatch stands right there, that was a good spot. Let's just see what happens now. That would be her over here somewhere. Oh, now she's... And now there's two of them. Oh, there's two of them. Oi. Okay. Okay. What has... What has he told you to do? Dutchy Dan, are you gonna take a shot here? Ooh, that's a good sh shot percentage right there. Oh, that's too bad, Dodgy Dan. That's too bad. So what now? Ooh. So you're gonna make a, a first front line right here? So you're gonna end your turn right there. Sheldon Shearwise. So you're gonna... Okay. Oh, Sheldon, nice. So we got a first front line right here. This is good. And a parry stance of 78. All right. Nice. And how about you coming upstairs, Baldy? Huh? Let's just see. We could crack the line over there and still get up the stairs, I think. Maybe out on the balcony. Well, this is a good spot. Yeah, right, Baldy? Yeah, I like this spot as well. And we're both gonna load next time. And let's see, Pierre Paré. I don't think you're exactly ready in a first front line yet. But you will be. You are gonna be a first front liner, I think. You are a shield specialist from France. Ah, oh, there's a stun recovery right there, and she's running up to that climb spot on the balcony. That means, Baldy, we are gonna be caught on this balcony unless we get out of here. What's this? What's this? Ah, yeah, she's nicely lit up. Oh, yeah. So, uh, oh, come on, Howard. Oh, man. Ah, okay. Let's just see here. So you just got, yeah, nice. Oh, that's a lot of nice wordstone right there. And, uh, let's just tiptoe you a bit over here. Like this, without using a strategy point. Pray. Okay, and then you could see. Oh, there's another one down there. I see it. Oh man, you are fearless. Oh! Ouch! Ouch! Oh man, you kind of woke up there, huh? <laughs> yep. Ouch! Howard Howler, you gotta, you gotta use some defense. <laughs> oh man! All right. I, I guess that woke you up, huh? Oh, you could use that Snow King's decree. Oh, nice. And he got a debuff. Oh, man. What just happened there? Oh, man. Howard, you shouldn't have done that. And you only have 92 health left. Oh, you're using the luck trinket also. So if you die, you have a lesser chance of a permanent injury. A new round has started. That's smart. A bit morbid thinking already. Uh, let's just see here. There was one down here as well. Oh, and there's another one coming. Oh, man. They are ganging up on us now. We need to get Howard Howler in. Oh, man. Anyway, I need to reload. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's see, this is a better percentage. Oh, that, there are two targets here. Oh, oh, down there is one, 81% chance. But this one, yeah. 
Let's just see here. Oh, nice. Nice. And she's nicely lit up down there. I like that. Okay. Let's just give her another shot, shall we? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. It's gonna cost me three to reload right now. I think I'm going down here. Because I would suspect that we need to help Howard Howler in some way. Maybe I should go to the other side over here. I think there's gonna be something out there that I can help in the next round. Let's see. Oh my god, do you see who she is? <laughs> it just occurred to me. She's Gisela. Not with a set, but with a miss. Oh man. Oh man. Howard Howler. Ah, I can't bear this. Oh man, he just came today and gathered a little wordstone and painted a little graffiti and then he died. Oh man. What? Who the hell is blowing the horn? It certainly ain't you, Captain. Who the hell is blowing that horn? Go check it out. Will you give us a status report out there? Come on, talk to us. Oh man. You see anything out there, Captain? What do you see? Well, what a... Eh, well, anyway, we gotta keep on fighting. So this one's for him today. Oh man. What are you doing? Ah, oh, you're missing. Oh man, this this is oh, huh. Oh my sigma. This is bad. Aha. Okay. Gonna throw an oil bomb. Oh, that's that's actually not that bad. Wow. Good thinking there, Captain. You brought an oil bomb. <laughs> I like that. So, oh, and you're gonna okay. Yeah, he's got some good stuff. You're right about that. Oh, you're switching the smoke salts. You're telling, taking all these good things. Okay, now do you see anything out there? Come on, Captain, please. Why isn't he talking to you? <coughs> he's just silent out there. Hmm. Anything, Captain? <coughs> Nothing? Okay, then. Okay. And what now, then, Captain? What now? Oh man, Captain. Really exposing yourself right now. Oh man. Okay. You're not gonna step in that fire, are you? Hmm, weird that the Captain won't give us a status report. Maybe someone else can give us a status report. Baldy, let's just see here. Oh yeah. Okay, and we have... She's got... 58. Oh, that's Gisela. Oh man, she was a sister of Sigma? Ah, uh, I wonder, blood magic from a sister of Sigma? Ah, oh, that can't be, ah, oh, that can't be. Not from a sister of Sigma, huh? Anyway, we gotta think about the, the task at hand here. So, Baldy Bowman, let's see if you can reload here. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, Baldy, you should get downstairs here. We need to, to tuck ourselves away. Oh yeah, you're coming downstairs. Yeah. Oh, you're starting to get a percentage down here. Oh, nice. Maybe you could get in this in this corner. Maybe you could stand over here and guard that window out there. Yeah. That's a good one, Baldy. I think I'm gonna suggest that we retreat to that corner in there. Maybe you should go in here, huh? See if you could, uh, maybe... Yeah! Oh, that's a nice percentage right out there. Okay! Nice one, Pierre! You dealt some damage right there. That was good. Oh, you're trying a perception? You see anything? Ah, nice! Now we spotted an enemy. Well done, Pierre. <laughs> okay. And Sheldon, what are you gonna do? Oh man, we haven't seen the rest of them. Wonder where the rest of them are. I would suspect that all of them would come together in this house. Oh, you're gonna make her charge you? Is that what you're gonna do? Or are you gonna charge her yourself? Okay. Ah, oh, that's weird. Oh, you're gonna take a parry there. Sheldon, do you have a status report? What? Oh, what's that? <laughs> That's Perry Perry! Oh man! He's been yeah! attracting their attention! He must have heard the horn! Oh man! Where did he come from? We just saw that! He must... How did he... What just happened right there? How could he... Oh man, I'm... 
One big question here. Oh, man. He must have heard the horn from the captain. Oh, man. He must... How did he... Oh, man. Oh, I thought you did. Oh, man, that's brave. Oh, man. What just happened there? And a Paris dance of 57. That's not much against the Sisters of Sigma. I did not expect that. I am one... This is one... Oh man, I have so many questions. Let's let's just see here. Yeah. Oh man, he caught them all up. He blew the horn and attracted them all, man. They were all swarming against him. They ran. And the Skisela, she just took out Howard Howler and now she's going. For, and that's... Ah, uh, I don't like seeing that. And, and, and this is their leader, Alanya von Holzhauser. Oh, she's coming in the back way. And here I am. And Baldy Bowman. I did not expect... Oh, man. A new round has started. What are we going to do here? Oh, man. We need to retreat to that corner. And we need to do it fast. Oh, man. This is all... This is all bad. This this just turned... Oh, man. What am I going to do? Well, first of all, I am going to reload without spending that extra. Oh, man. This is bad. This is so bad. And someone's coming down the stairs in a minute. Can I get a, a shot in somewhere? Can I? No. I can't. How about over here? If I pass the window right here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, that seems like the best shot chance I have. Uh. Yep, that's right. Let's just give you a little bit of damage here before you come to the door. Now, let's see. I can still reload. So, what I'm gonna do here is a nice reload, yes, and an overwatch stance through those two windows right there. And here she is, the Howard Howler Killer. She's coming right back. <laughs> that one was bad. That one was bad. Yeah. Oh, the 57 parry didn't do much. Oh, come on, give it to Gisela. Come on, Dodgy Dan. Do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah that's right, Dodgy Dan. That's right. We need to put her down. If Howard Howler is going to make a chance of surviving this game, we need to take Gisela out if she is the one who cast the blood curse. I truly don't believe that the Sisters of Sigmar are engaged in blood curses and stuff. You never know. Maybe if you go a little bit to this side, you may be able to get a beat on Gisela as well. Yeah. Ah, Gisela, she's got four health left. Four. No need to spend three offense points on that. Ooh, look at that. A 95% chance here, Captain. Why don't you give it a shot? Ah! Ooh, you stunder! Yeah, that's right, Captain. That's right. Oh, man. You did a good job right there. Yeah, I suggest you get right in here. Let's just see here. Can you get around? That doesn't matter. You are uh, in the corner. So, uh, you should just end your turn here. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. That's fire damage right there. Ah, nice shot, but not so nice targeting. Oh, is that a, the bumblebee? Huh? Baldy, did you see it? It's it's right there in the window. F Ooh. Ouch! Oh, come on, you gotta... Ouch! Oh, man. This is not good. And now she's coming as well. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well... And she's boosting something. Oh, man. These sisters, I really don't like them. Let's just take a look here how things are going here. Oh man, Dodgy Dan, he's looking down. But so is Gisela. Four wounds to her life. All right. And she's pretty full of life. And she is... Hmm. Well, maybe you could uh, start by reloading at least. And uh, let's see. Oh, you got a, a good percentage out there. Just make it count. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice, Pierre! Oh, oh, man. You're doing good with those dueling pistols right there. That's good. Well, so you're moving out of the way. Good choice. All right. And Sheldon, you are, of course, gonna help Dodgy Dan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. And a parry stance. A defensive one. That's nice. Yeah. 
Let's hope for the bowman. First of all, reload right here. Let's see. And, and let's see if you... Yeah, yeah, you could get a beat on Gisela. I like that. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's not much. Oh, you're going for it anyway. Ah, oh, that's too bad, Baldy. That's too bad. Yeah, you better you better step a little bit inside as well. Oh man, that's too bad. We need to take Gisela out. Oh, you reload right here. We really need to do that. Oh man, this is bad. Oh man. But you at least you're covering the stairs up there. Yeah! That's right, Dodgy Dan. Take her out! <laughs> That's right. All right. Take her out. Uh, so we got her. Oh, you're disengaging. We got her. Oh, you gonna loot her? So, yeah. Well, nice. <laughs> That's... Oh, man. Gisela split. Huh? All right. Oh, you... Oh, man. Yeah, that's right. So you're just gonna fake loot your way over to the two smelling salts that we got over here. Oh, that's smart. We could actually... Use some of that. Oh man. And so what what are you gonna do? You gonna, gonna fake loot your way back? Okay. Alright. But we got Gisela. We got Gisela. I mean this is so good. This is so good. Let's just see how far we can stretch it. This is about as far as it goes. Last fake loot. Okay. So we need to get you inside corner as well. Oh man, Captain. You're in the way here. Oh man, that's too bad. This is like a bad day. This is the only place you can be, Dodgy Dan. And that is pretty exposed. We needed to get you inside that corner. Oh man, this is too bad. Let's see what happens out there. Ooh, that was a nice shot through the window right there, Baldy. Oh man. She's in an ambush. And here comes their leader down the stairs. Oh, she got stuck. She didn't get stuck. No. Oh, man. This is this is bad. This is really bad. A new round has oh, started. Oh, man. Oh, that's fire damage right there. That's nice dodging right there. And how about the counter? Oh, that's a good one, Sheldon. Nice. Oh, and you parried as well. Oh, man. Oh, astonishing. Right on. Now, we need to do something about this threat right over here. Let's just see. She, she's got so much health. And Dodgy Danny's down to 19 wounds to his health. This is the one we need to take her out. That would be damaging to their morale as well. Oh man, it seems I can only fire two shots this round. An aimed shot. Oh, come on. Oh man, that's too bad. Did you see that? Bo that was okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna reload, and then um, I'm gonna take an Overwatch. Because 55 is not really a good percentage. I just missed a 75. So let's, let's see here, Captain. Maybe you have a possibility of doing damage with at least one of your shots right here. Is that what you can do? Is that really all you can do? You got a 73% chance. Let's see. Let's see if you can... Ah, oh, come on, Captain. You rolled a hundred. I can see that in the combat log. Oh, man. And that wasn't a bumble. I didn't see any bumblebee. I, I, I mean, I didn't see any. Okay, and then you're gonna reload. We just have to wait, Captain. We need to get Sheldon in. Now, let's see what's going on out there. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is, is boosting and taking an ambush, okay? Okay, so Sheldon, what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, that's some good thinking right there. Oh man, good thinking. Oh man. Oh, so you're taking a parry stance. I like that. I like that. Bowman, let's see. You could uh, take a step back and reload. Let's see if you can. Uh, maybe you can step a little bit further back. Okay, and you can get a beat on her instead. 
Well, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do it, Baldy. Yeah, you give it to her. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man, you are so good through those windows, and you're doing it. You're just doing it. And now we can tuck you a little bit away in here. It's a good spot. Okay. And Pierre. And Pierre, what are you gonna do, huh? Oh, so you stepping in now. Huh? Is that what you're gonna do? Oh, you're gonna switch weapons now. Oh, and you're delaying. Oh, that's a smart move. So you need to leave Dodgy Dan, huh? Oh, man. Let's just see what's going on here. Ooh. Suspense. What's going on? What's what's happening here? Oh, no. oh that's nice. Nice, Sheldon. And you got a counterattack right there. Oh, man. She is suffering. Look at all those arrows in her. <laughs> and Dodgy Dan. You need to disengage real fast. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you got 19 health left. Oh, man. Oh, man. So you going in here. Yeah, that's a good... That's that's a pretty necessary thinking right there. Because it's time to switch weapons. Right there. Oh, man. We need to take care of Dodgy Dan right now. Oh, man. Let's just see here. Oh, she's a hard hit up here. She's really a hard hitter. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's just see here. Oh, man. You can't get to her? Oh, man, you can't get to her? Oh, that's too bad. Okay. We need a new plan here. <laughs> you switch weapons again. All right, Pierre. But this is a part of Mordheim. It is. I mean, you have a plan until you need to change it. Ouch! That's really bad. What, what, are, what are you doing? Oh man, what a god, oh, that was a failure at least. That was a failure. Okay, and, and, and Sheldon, you okay? A new round has started. Oh, this is a new round. At least no one else is gonna engage Sheldon Shieldwise here. Okay, okay, I, I got this. I, I got this. I got this. Oh. Yep, yep. I mean, that wasn't much, but yep. You see, I got it. I got it. And and that bumblebee, I, I think it's gone now. I, I, I think it's gone. Oh, man. Okay. I'm just going to try another shot. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. And I can reload here. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to take an overwatch here. I can cover the two windows and... I Sheldon is gonna disengage. Now let's see. Ooh. That was some fire damage right there. Yeah, that's good. And what's going on? An ambush outside? Fine. And let's have a look at you, Captain. Let's see what you can do. Huh? Let's just see if if you could maybe give that an aim shot. 73, okay. Oh man! Captain, you, you you need to go to the shooting range a bit. You better reload and, uh, and get out of the way for now. You don't have a shot possibility again, so so maybe you should get over here. Behind everybody, yeah. Like this. Yeah, Captain. Let's just see what happens. Uh oh something's happening outside. Stimulus? Okay, they're boosting themselves with some buff and then an ambush stance, all right? Okay. Okay. Let's just see here. If we could uh, stretch this point a bit here, Dodgy Dan. Maybe maybe you could reload and uh, get a shot in out there. Or over here. Oh, that's not a good shot percentage right there. Uh, 49, huh? That's not, that's not much. If you take... 69% aim shot. Go for it, Dodgy Dan. We need to deal some damage to her. Just, yes, that's right. Uh, 22 right there. Okay, and you need to end your turn right there. Okay, so let's just see here because Sheldon Shewise is the last of our warriors to move. Now, if he disengage, he can close that gap. Oh, man. And you, you need to uh, reload. Okay, Pierre. Overwatch is, um, maybe you should just, you know, yeah, well, mm, 
Maybe you could go to this window, right? Oh, a 69. That's not bad. Let's see. Oh, she's got 109. We're gonna have to uh, take more than just one out. That's a nice shot. That's a nice one. Okay, so I, I suggest that you uh, stay here now. So we can get Dodgy Dan maybe into the corner. That would be a good idea. We need to tuck him away. Now, Baldy Bowman, you need to reload first of all. Let's just stretch this a bit here. And let's reload here. Let's, let's see if you could uh, maybe target someone outside the window. You can target her at 73. Hmm. So, Baldy, looks as if you're gonna have two shots. Yeah! That's right! Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's good. That's really good. How, how am I gonna do that? I, I don't wanna block anyone in here. Oh, you got a good shot out there. Yeah, you got her. You got her. Overwatch stance for Baldy Bowman. Oh, you're doing good with that crossbow. So, oh man, I'm afraid. Sheldon she was he can't disengage. This is bad. I forgot we delayed him. Oh man, this just went from bad to worse. Oh my Sigma. This is bad. Oh man, you're just gonna have to end your turn here. And there are three of them that are gonna move and one of them is their leader. And Sheldon is gonna have to take an all alone test. Oh man. Let's just see what's going on out there. Yeah! Ooh, that's nice, Sheldon. Well done. Yeah! Ay, 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 ay. That one hurt. That one hurt. And she got some military training. <gasps> and, and this is good, Sheldon. <gasps> Doing so good. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I am impressed. Oh, wow. A new round has started. Oh, it's a new round, yeah. Oh. That's our white knight making the day here. Oh man, this is this is uh, this is too intense. I'm not sure I can handle this. Let's see, I I can't do anything. I can't target anyone, so I'm just gonna have to assist you here. Oh man, oh man, this better be good. Yeah, that's right. 13, an unlucky number. Let's transfer all our unluck from today to you guys. Oh man, I can I can reload one strategy point. That means my next reload is gonna be for two strategy points. Okay, look, I'm gonna go into this corner and and and, and that means I can just reload if I'm here. She's got 99 and she's got 61. This one is the important one, their leader. So let's just give her one more. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, that was just a 55% chance. Anyway, I'm gonna reload in the corner here. So I'm gonna have to stay here. Oh man. And I'm gonna take an overwatch. So captain, let's see. So let's, let's see, maybe you could just get one shot in here. Just, just like one. I named one. How about that? Yeah, you, you gotta give it a go, Captain. You gotta please. Oh. Yeah, that's right. We gotta take her down. And you can't reload. You knew that. So you're just going in here to end your turn. Yeah, that's that's good. Now let's see. Do you have a hero out there somewhere? Now it's her turn. Okay, she she's boosting again. And ambushing again, okay? Okay, nice, nice. And Baldy, you, you got a good shot opportunity once again. She's got 57 wounds, okay? If you take her down, we can't loot her. So, uh, question is, and if you make that an aim shot, oh, that's a 71. Yeah, yeah, well, why, why don't you give it a go there, huh? Yeah, that's a nice one, 28, that's good. That's good, I like that, I like that. So you go in here now. That's not bad. That's good, Baldy. Nice. Oh, that's good. And Sheldon. Let's just see here. You can't disengage now. Oh, you can switch weapons. You can parry. You can everything. But you cannot disengage. Okay. So there's only one thing to do, huh? And that's attack. Attack, Sheldon. Attack. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Sheldon. Oh, man. You're doing good. So, so you should take a, yeah, 78% parry chance. Oh, man. And Dodgy Dan, you need to take care. So, if you reload here, and we need to tuck you in into the corner. 
So there's only one thing to do, huh? And that's attack! 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 Ah, oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Right now, you really need to get out of any sight. Nobody must be able to see you right now. You just need to stand in this corner. Because they can fire some things. I don't know what it's called. The uh, Sigma's Comet or something like that. They can cast it. Oh, man. Oh, this is good, Pierre. That would be a, a, a good shot. Let's see. Oh, man. We are cursed today. It seems that way. Oh, man. This is bad. Okay, so you, you step aside a bit there. Someone else can shoot out through that window. And reload. Okay, this is really bad. Oh, man. So, they are moving out there. Let's let's just take a look. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, that's good parry in there, White Knight. Ah, man. That was too bad. I thought you were gonna keep that counter attack for for this this. Oh, you are incredible! Ouch! Ouch! Let me repeat that. Ouch! Okay. A new round has started. Ah oh, man. A new round has started and and, and they, I do not care this. It's going to... Oh man, did you, did you, did you guys see that bump, bumble beat that, uh, yeah, it was a fast one. You, you didn't see it? it? It was a fast one. Yeah, flew right by my arrow, I mean, how, uh, let's, let's just reload here. Okay, and, and this time the bumblebee's gone, I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. it oh. Yeah, you see, you see it's gone there. Yeah, yep, that's right. And I still have a chance to reload right here. So I'm, I'm gonna place myself here because we need Sheldon to step back. We need him to disengage. I'm gonna take an overwatch here and let's just see what happens. Oh man, there's another ambush out there. Okay, Captain, first you reload. Okay, and then please. Oh man, please. Maybe you would do the honors? Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it! Oh man! Oh man, Captain, you rolled a hundred again. Look, you don't, I mean, a hundred is not good, Captain. Oh man, there are a few things you need to learn in more time. A hundred? Honestly, you had a chance to put her out of action. And you roll a hundred. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, she's moving out there. No, she's not moving. She's, she's taking an ambush again. Okay. I thought you then. Let's just take a look here. Let's see. She's got 102. She's got 57. 57 is not that much. If she gets in, we could waste her. But this one. We need to deal a little more damage to her, right? So let's let's see if we could just, you know, get you out here. That would probably be a good spot. Let's reload here. 72, yeah, that's nice. Give it to a dodgy Dan. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, nice shooting. Oh man. And then back in your corner. <laughs> okay. Good. Good job. Alright, Pierre Paré. Would you please do something over there? Yeah, let's just see here. How about that, Pierre? Would you please do the honors? Yeah, that's right, Pierre! You just put your third enemy out of action! Oh man, that's good! But you can't loot, you can't do anything right now. End your turn. Alright, now Baldy, how about you? Can you can you go loot here? Oh, well, this is good. You can loot here. Okay, let's let's just see what she's got. Great hammer of alacrity. Now that's not something we can use but it's at least worth some gold i guess so now we need to find a way to um put up some good defensive positioning here um boldly and you could reload and go into an overwatch yeah right now we need to get sheldon disengaged here yeah that's right Oh man, that's good. And then tucked into here. Okay. With the Paris dance of 78. That's good thinking right there, Sheldon. 
That's good thinking. Oh yeah, let's see. What are you guys gonna do, huh? Okay. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, that's good. That's nice. And there's a counter attack. Oh yeah. <laughs> Meet the White Knight, aka the Surgeon. All right. A new round has started. Let's hope she's blocking everything. She's... Nice one, Boldy. Problem is. Ooh. Nice. But the problem is, she's one with a hell of a lot of life. Aich. That's not good. This has gone from worse to even disastrous bad. Oh, man. Okay. Listen, um. Listen here, let's let's just get an overview here. Like, she's got not too much health. Their morale is down to 64. She's got this is bad. She's she's got a lot of health. Oh man. And Sheldon Shieldwise is going down fast. This is bad. Out here is someone we could take out with a few shots, but she didn't come in. Oh man. And now. We need to take someone out fast. Let's just see. That's not a good shot percentage. Okay, let's see. An aim shot. Do okay. That's good. Oh yeah. And, uh, I can. I can reload here. Okay, and then I need to move out of the way. Um, somewhere behind here, so someone is. Oh, uh, like 42. Hmm, it's not much. Yeah. Well, let's take an Overwatch here. I, oh man, this is uh. This is not good. This is not good. We gotta keep the others down for a possibility of taking someone out quick. Let's see what kind of percentage you could get here, Captain. Sixty uh, percent. Yeah. Well, give it a go, Captain. I'll give it a go. Ah oh, man, that's too bad. Oh man. Oh man, that's too bad. Okay. Then step a little further back here and see if you can uh, if you can reload. Oh man, I'm having a real bad feeling about this. And the captain, he's starting to get all jumpy. You know why? Because he saw a rat outside on the street. I mean, a tiny rat running across the street. That got him startled. Makes me think what he's gonna do when he sees the Skaven. <laughs> Rats. Oh, come on, captain. That was just a tiny rat. Okay, Baldy, let's see if we can get you somewhere over here. 17, that's not good. 47, and shot. Oh yeah! Oh, you're going for- Oh! Uh, oh yeah! Uh, oh, that's good! That was a nice one! Okay! That was a nice one, Boldy! Nice! Alright, so Sheldon, what are you gonna do? Huh? Oh, you gonna attack her? Uh, oh, that was a nice one! Oh man, that was good! That was nice! And then disengage, yeah? All right. I don't know if you can get to that loot. I'm not sure you can get through that. No. Okay. So you're gonna move over here. You got a lot of strategy points. Um, so you're gonna delay for a better positioning. Let's just see here. And dodgy Dan. Let's just see if we can stretch this point a bit before you reload. Okay. And let's just see... Oh, that's outside. Okay. Let's give it a go, Dodgy Dan. Give it a go. I mean, ah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. So, back in your corner. All right. You need to end your turn right there. Oh, man. We need to get this over. We need to take her out. I believe we need to just take one out. Oh, you are stepping in, Pierre. I like that. All right. That's nice. Now go for it, Pierre. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. That's good. <laughs> well done, Pierre. Well done. But you've got no defense now. Oh, man. As it usually is in more time, we need a new plan. Okay. So, Sheldon. You are gonna have to, uh, to step aside. Yeah. And we're gonna end the round this way. This is not good. Let's just see here. 
A new round has here started. Here it comes. Ah! Oh, here it comes. Ah, that was nice, Pierre. That was some good dodging right there. Oh, man. Let's give her some damage, shall we? Yeah, that one's for you. That one is for you. And I want to show you something. I got three arrows. You know that? Let's just try one more time. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I like that. And, and, and then I think I'm going to delay and let's see if anybody else comes in and needs a shot. Someone's coming out there. Or someone is going in an ambush stance. All right. Now, Captain. Give her some damage, please. That's right! Oh, man! <laughs> Captain, you just saved the day. Now, you got two looped possibilities right here. And you have no space for anything. You have absolutely no space. But, but, we're just gonna see what, what's... Oh, man. Uh, well... Oh, man. There's some good stuff. These things we can use and the pulses we're gonna keep because it is important. It's one open wound. It's for survival. But, um... Gotta tuck you away somewhere. Captain. Yeah, that's good. You should, uh... You should reload there. And end your turn. Yeah. They failed! They failed! Yeah! Oh, man! Ha <laughs> ha! Well done! What a relief! And now, we approach the sweet moment. Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment, but it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war, and we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, we can once again enjoy the battle tales of yet another victory, but also attend to the open wounds and bloody injuries sustained. That may or may not become fatal for the continuance of the Firing Squad. Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below, and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks, and have a nice day.